So you're interested in moving to Silicon Valley to become a software engineer. What is the easiest way to do that? If you don't live in the Bay Area, it's really tough to find a job here. It's really tough to move here. So one way to do that is to get a master's degree in computer science, MSCS degree, from one of the local Bay Area universities. Uh, so I'm going to cover some of those universities, nine universities in the Bay Area that you could apply to and get a master's degree in computer science. And some of the benefits of that, that transition plan into the Bay Area are that, one, you can use the university's placement service to help you find a job. Once you're a student in the university, they will actually help place you into one of the leading technology companies in the Silicon Valley. Um, two, you're going to have access to internships, not just job placement after you graduate, but internships in your middle summer and also possibly during the school year as a part-time deal. So those are two possibilities. And on top of that, you're going to build up a stronger network of friends and contacts in computer science in Silicon Valley. So your classmates is what I'm saying. They're all going to go to work for leading tech companies in Silicon Valley, and you're going to have friends in basically every technology company in the area. Uh, if you need help finding a job in one of those companies, you're going to have friends that can recommend you into those kind of positions. So those are some of the benefits, and uh, that's probably the easiest way I know of to transition into a software engineering career in the Bay Area. So universities, number one, Stanford. Stanford is a really, really great university. It's ranked uh, probably in the top three in the, in the world in computer science. So they have an excellent computer science program, very, very famous, well-known um, so many great companies have come out of Stanford, uh, great professors. It's just, uh, I don't know what else to say. Stanford's awesome. Um, so number two, UC Berkeley, also called Cal sometimes. So this is part of the University of California system. They also have one of the top, probably top five or 10 ranked computer science programs in the United States. So excellent, excellent, outstanding university. Uh, they have a beautiful campus in Berkeley. Um, however, once you step off campus, mm, the city of Berkeley is a little bit uh, edgy. It's a lot of homeless people there, but it has some character. It's a lot, a lot of character, but it's just uh, it's a very different, different personality than the Stanford University, which is very classy. I strongly recommend Berkeley. Um, number three, although it's a little bit outside of the Silicon Valley, it's probably an hour and a half drive from Silicon Valley. But um, it is within commuting range, and it's certainly in the greater Bay Area. It's closer to Sacramento, quite honestly. UC Davis, University of California at Davis. So it's basically a, an outskirt of Sacramento. But from the, southern, the South Bay, where the main part of Silicon Valley is, is quite a distance, and it'd be hard really to commute from there. However, when you graduate, you could easily interview for jobs in the Bay Area, in the South Bay, in, in Silicon Valley with ease, and you could, you could hop down for uh, an hour and a half's drive and, and be in a job interview, uh, you know, same day. So that's not a problem. So I think it's close enough to the Bay Area that, yeah, it's a Bay Area school. And UC Davis is a really, really great academically. They have a fantastic reputation in the Bay Area. So they produce great, smart engineers. And UC Davis is very bike friendly. It's a beautiful campus. It's a nice area. So I strongly recommend UC Davis. Uh, number four, Santa Clara University. Santa Clara is right in the middle of Silicon Valley. The location is just freaking awesome. They have a nice campus, but it's a much smaller university. It's a private school. It's a private kind of a Jesuit or Catholic uh, school. But they have a good computer science program. But like I said, it's much smaller. Uh, number five, uh, San Jose State. And actually, that's where I got my master's. I, got, I actually got two master's degrees from San Jose State, an MBA and uh master's in computer science. San Jose State also has a great location. It's right in the middle of downtown San Jose. However, the campus isn't that fabulous. You're right in downtown San Jose, so it's not that great, but it's a decent school. It's part of the California State University system. So there are basically, in California, there are two public university systems. There's University of California, which is kind of the higher end one, and then there's the California State University system which is a little bit uh, cheaper, but still pretty decent. So San Jose State is part of the Cal State University system. But in a lot of leading tech companies, including Apple, Apple claims to have more graduates from San Jose State University than from any other university. So a lot of the leading tech companies are recruiting from San Jose State University. Uh, next, UC Santa Cruz. UC Santa Cruz is also a little bit outside of the area. It's kind of a, about an hour's drive south from uh, the San Jose area. It's a very nice campus, and it's a great school. University of San Francisco is in San Francisco. It's in great, great location in downtown San Francisco. 
It's a little expensive to live there is one thing. And it's a very small school. It's a private school. U University of San Francisco is a private school. And then next, uh, San Francisco State. San Francisco State is part of the um, California State University system. And that also is in San Francisco, on the south side of San Francisco. And last, number nine, Cal State East Bay. California State University East Bay is also part of the California State University system. And it's in Hayward, in the kind of southeast corner of the Bay Area. So it's pretty close also to um, Silicon Valley and all the leading tech companies. So those are nine schools roughly ranked in, in my perception of their reputation in the local Bay Area in terms of computer science programs. Now, the three UC schools that I mentioned, University of California, Berkeley, Davis, and Santa Cruz, they all have the same application. So you can apply to all three schools using the same application. You probably have to pay the application fee for each school, but you only have to fill out one application to apply to all three of those schools. And the same for the um, Cal State schools. So San Jose State, San Francisco State, and uh, Cal State East Bay all have one application for all three schools. Although, like I said, you may have to pay the application fee, I think, for each one of them separately. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please subscribe to my channel and click thumbs up. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.